Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. We are the Swindon Town Swiddly Poopers and we're here in Russia playing FC Zenit in what I think is their old stadium because I don't think their current stadium looks like this, but maybe that's just FIFA 11 being weird. Speaking of FIFA 11 being weird, today I want to tell you about my top three or possibly five, depending on how much time we have, video games of all time. But first, I want to remind you that the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers have a chance to move to the final eight of the EuroLeague if only we can win or tie this game by a score of one to one or better. If we get an away goal and, th and they sc we're going to win um, because we don't actually have to win the game. Unfortunately, we are kind of having to start our B team here because our A team is freaking tired. And my assistant coach keeps telling me that they're going to get injured if I keep playing them. And then that makes me sad to think about Ball John Green getting an injury, etc. Um, so my three favorite video games of all time. Um, my number one favorite video game of all time is Super Mario Brothers. Uh, this will be impossible for most of you to understand, but I... Gizka Burger! Oh. Yarsgamugaburg. That, I mean, that was not Ricardo Bunsen Burner's best moment. I've made better dives for a ball. Um, context is everything. And um, it's my, oh, God. Why did I do that? 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 Why did that happen? Why did I make that terrible mistake? And why was I punished for it? What happened to second chances in this, this big, terrible world of ours? Well, you got to understand about Super Mario Brothers is that it, it, it is an incredibly fun game when you are... Well, how is that my foul? I feel like they call fouls on, on other John Green strictly because he is good-looking and talented, and that intimidates the referee. I think that's what it's about. I think they're jealous, and why wouldn't they be? I'm jealous. He's amazing. You think that's where I wanted to pass it, really? Fitzhall gets away with a handball. Come on, you really think I wanted to pass back that way? Oh, we're getting our butts handed to us. Remember, though, if we score in this game, we are moving on as long as we don't give up a second goal. So all we need to do is score. It shouldn't be that hard. People score goals all the time in football games. Um, admittedly, not the Swin and Town Swoodly Poopers in the last, I don't know, six months. But people do score. Um, we scored on a penalty. That was fun. Uh, we have a visitor. Wh who's our visitor, Stan? It's Jason. Jason's here. Uh, okay. All right. And up. Okay. No. Um, when Super Mario Brothers came out, it was so incredibly exciting. What? what? Stone Cold Steve with a C. Austin, you hardly ever even play, and now you're injured? Oh, Smurzgaberg. We've got to bring in John Green, even though he's exhausted. All right. Let's do it, John Green. I might put you in the middle. No, I guess I'm going to put you here. I might put you in the middle. Mmm... I'm going to put you in the middle for the first half. Then we'll switch it out if we need to. All right. So Stone Cold Steve with the C. Austin injured. We don't know for how long or how seriously, but generally when they stop the game like that, it doesn't bode terribly well. So on comes Bald John Green, our exhausted but hardworking substitute, knowing that the Swinontown Swoodley Poopers must score if they are to advance in the Euro League. Oh, one size fits all with a terrible slide tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. So I don't think I'll be able to explain how exciting Mario Brothers was uh, when it first came out. But all the cheats, all the opportunities to get infinite extra lives, uh, the castle, the dragon, the princess, it was all so brilliantly imagined. Um, that I just couldn't help but love everything about it. And the first time, I, and you know, I loved playing it with Hank. We were probably like, I was probably nine and he was probably six when, when uh, we got our first Nintendo. And it was just so incredibly exciting. Second favorite game. Then I became a huge fan of, of sports games, um, which I have continued to be until this day. There's something really repetitive about sports games that I find um, I don't know, it relaxes me, and I find it really, like, deeply enjoyable, like, in this weird, profound way. Um, 
and I've never been very good at sports games, but I've always just enjoyed playing them a lot. Like I even enjoy like playing, you know, like NASCAR racing. I'm very open-minded about my sports games. Obviously, that was intended to be to Perry Perry, who then unnecessarily slide tackles. Oh, Schmerzka Berg. Really? How is that a pass? Um, the first sports game I loved was Blades of Steel, um, which was an incredibly exciting hockey game in which you got to fight, and it was just so fun. That's not a foul. I just stood him up. Um, it was really, really fun, Blades of Steel. I, I heartily recommend it. Um, and I, uh, I played Blades of Steel for a long boy. But other John Green is just exhausted, and I'm going to make him play a lot longer because I don't have any substitutes. Um, I played it constantly for years and years and years and years, and then I recently got an 8-bit Nintendo for, uh, to, to make that video about Red Green and the Nintendo, um, and, and since then I've been playing it again because it's still incredibly fun. Um, Ball John Green making a slow-motion run. The guys are just exhausted, you know? Just, oh, look at that. He can't even stay on his feet. Um, speaking of not being able to stay on his feet, how about that unnecessary slide tackle? We're going to have to figure something out here because we've got to find a way to score. I'm not using the turbo button or anything like that that would, you know, cause them to be tired. They're just tired because they've been playing a lot, and I don't have any, like, substitute-type players. Um, the Swoodly Poopers just aren't built for sub. Oh! If I only knew how to, like, do all the special moves... And then we pass it out of bounds like a boss. Oh, the sadness is overwhelming. Um, I loved I loved that, and and I even and I loved Tech Mobile when I had the Nintendo, uh, and I also loved Double Dribble. Those were my favorite sports games when. I, but my all-time favorite sports game is NHL '95 for uh, the Sega. Uh, that game. Ha is you gonna call a foul or is that halftime? It's halftime. All right, the guys look. They look upset. They look frustrated. You can see Ginger Rampage is having an argument with Bald John Green, which doesn't surprise me because Ginger Rampage is hot-headed. I know that it's, I know that it's, you know, like a something people say, but he just he's hot-headed. It's a fact. So, all right, let's let's take a let's take a long, hard look at the squad, figure out what we need to do to score in the second half. We do have voluptuous pair card on the bench, but I I mean I don't I I think he's a late late game substitution for me. Um, I'm going to put other John Green in the middle, although he's exhausted. And then I'm going to look, I guess, okay, French the l -l 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 Lana can come in for uh, for Grangey. We can theoretically put l -l 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 Lana in the middle. He's not terrible in the middle. He's better than Voluptuous Paracard, actually. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we just don't, you know, I guess Merrick Merrick, he needs to come on. I think we're going to probably bring him on for Perry Perry. That's going to help. But we, we're tired. We're tired. We're a tired club. All right particularly tired up front, which is where we need our speed. So we're going to do a double substitution. One size fits all. He's still anchoring the back. I mean, he, he knows that goal wasn't his fault. That goal was entirely manager John Green's fault. Really frustrating play for manager John Green today. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Um, that hockey game um, uh, in 1995, I played constantly – with when I was in college um, and I played it throughout college and it was incredibly fun um, and I got really good at it like far better than I will ever be at FIFA because these days I have like a child and other things that prevent me from playing video games two or three hours a day um, but back then no such problem oh ball I mean other John Green he's just exhausted there's there's you know he's just he's 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 kicked but I just need you guys to play like heroes one more time for Swindon not for yourselves, but for your family, for your hometown. Think of the supporters back at the county ground right now, gathered today, watching the game, watching you guys play in Russia. Think of the all that you've been through to get from where you were in League One, one of the worst teams in League One, no less, to get from there to here. Think of the fact that it's a lot of the same players. Voluptuous Paracard, Stone Cold. Think of injured Stone Cold Steve with a C Austin. All right? Think of him and how bad he wants to be on the pitch right now. You know? And just find it in your guts in this last 30 minutes to score one goal. And oh, whew. 
All right, everybody stay focused. Calm down. I'm not even going to talk about video games anymore. For the last 30 minutes of this game, I'm just going to talk about what's happening in the game, and I'm going to focus. All right, right now. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Pass, pass, pass. The ball moves. Oh, just frustrating. We're just, everybody's kicked. Okay, there's Ginger Rampage with a nice tackle. Get it back up. Get it wide. No, he's just ball. John Green's got nothing. I should bring in Voluptuous Paracard. At least he's not tired. Uh. All right, I'm going to bring in Voluptuous Paracard next chance I get. Um. Wide. Wide. Let's try to go up the other side. We've got Gordon Taylor Fletcher. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. He's just in slow motion. And turn. Back. Pass. Shoot. Shoska Burska Burge. Should have been a goal. Oh, we got a really promising free kick. Really, really promising. Okay. Everybody stay focused. 72nd minute. I've got to shoot here, right? I am correct that this is a good place to shoot from. I mean, you guys can't tell me I can't. I got to shoot from here. I got to at least try. No, it's in the wall. Fahey? No? Oh. All right. Voluptuous Paracard's going to come on. He's going to do his best. I mean, look, those guys have just absolutely nothing left. So we need Voluptuous Paracard to come on. I'm out of substitutions. Oh, because I had an injury in the first half. Oh, so you guys have been watching me just like embarrassed on my behalf because you knew this. Great. Oh. Uh, come on, guys. Organize. No, he's got nothing. All he can do is fall down. All right. We can do this. We just got to focus. One size fits all. One size fits all. Absolutely relentless player. Love everything about him. All right. Go up the coast. Go, go, and... Go! Oh, John Green can do nothing but put it right in the hands of the goalkeeper. It's infuriating. Oh, this is really frustrating stuff for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. This is not what we dreamt of. This is not what we wanted out of our season. We were going to be great. The first season in the Premier League. And we still could be. We still could be great. Oh, he's got nothing. No, his husband was not in the right place. That was a great cross. All right. Ten minutes left. Oh, the pressure. It mounts. Oh, it's a save. All right. One size fits all. Everybody come up. Every, can, I get the, can I get the keeper to come up? I'd like Ricardo Bunsen Burner to come up in an ideal. Ideally. Can I, get, can I get Ricardo Bunsen Burner up? All right. One size fits all. Yes. Oh, one size fits all scores. Oh, my God. He's big. He's small. He's also short and tall. One size fits all. One size fits all. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are going to the round of eight in the Europa League, an 89th minute goal from one size fits all. All we have to do is not give up another. We did it. We did it. Oh, my God. Sorry, I lost control, but I'm very excited. I love one size fits all so much. He's had a great game. And then to see it rewarded like that, just beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's got to be a foul. <sighs> is that the end of the game? Tell me that's, tell me that's the end of the game. I'm just going to kick it long. Kick it long. We did it! We're going to the round of eight of the Europa League. Congratulations to the Swindon Town Swindley Poopers. Best wishes!